Hey guys, um, welcome to another edition of Scott Does Fitness in His Apartment. Um, today I am featuring much less furniture as I am currently in the process of moving. So I've got a lot of space, which is nice. Um, today is a long sweat workout. Um, we're gonna go over that in depth um, in a couple minutes here. But we're gonna start with your warm up. For warm up today, we're gonna do three rounds of 10 wrist rocks, 10 bootstrappers, and 10 banded dislocates. Wrist rocks. You can point your fingertips forward, you can point them to the side, wrists together, or you can point them back towards you. What I want you to think about, keep the elbows locked out, and try and smush your knuckles into the ground. So I'm gonna show you the forward version from here. Hands flat on the floor. Push the knuckles down, lock the elbows out. From here, rock back and forth 10 times. Sideways, same thing. Knuckles down, elbows straight, and back. Your second movement are bootstrappers. What you're gonna do, grab your toes, Sit down into a full squat. From here, you're gonna send your butt as high as you can, try to walk out the knees. Third and final movement, and I'm gonna do on my knees because my laptop's already on the ground. Banded dislocates. I'm using a belt because I don't have a band. Lock the elbows up. What am I gonna do? Keep the arms straight with the whole movement. All the way around, touch your butt with the band. That's one. So guys, your workout today has three parts. You will record two things here. So the first is the total time it takes to complete all three parts. And the second is the total meters ran or high knees completed in part one. Part one is a three minute amount of max distance meters ran or total reps high knees. Let's go over the high knees real quick. What I want for the high knees, one, for the high knees to count, you must get your knee above your hip crease. So that is a high knee, that is a high knee. One rep is both legs. So left, right, that's one rep. At speed, they look like this. Part two, you will do uh, a rep scheme of 10 all the way down to one of air squats, hollow rocks, um, and single arm push press. So you will do 10 air squats, 10 hollow rocks, 10 single arm push press per arm. So you do a total of 20 push press in that first round. Then you will do nine, 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 or 18 in that second round. 888, sorry, 888 or 16 in that third round. Air squat, feet, squat with sand. So generally just outside of hips. And what I want, I want to see a full depth squat, hip crease gets below the knees. Think about engaging that core on the way down. From the side. Second movement, hollow rocks. Last week uh, with you guys, I went over a hollow hold. So you're gonna get into that hollow hold position. And what do you think about? Be your best gymnast. Point the toes, arms straight up overhead. And I want you to try and keep that hollow hold tight and low. So what I mean is feet and arms just off the ground. Right here, lower back, only thing on the ground. From here, rocking back and forth. Third movement, single arm push press. So, push press, dip, drive, and lock out. What I want to see for that front rack position, elbow in front, I do not want to see the elbow come out to the side. We're gonna drive straight up off the shoulder, and what I want to see for the dip, knees dip out. That keeps the weight in the heels, you can drive straight up out of the heels. So it's a dip, drive, and lock out, that is a push press. You will do, so in the first round, we'll do 10 on one arm, 10 on the other arm to finish that round. Part number three, here's where it gets fun. 
the first part you did three minutes um, max distance run um, or in place high knees um, for that first part it's a, that's the second record and what you're going to do is you're going to record either total meters ran or high knees completed the third part is you're going to complete that same distance or that same number of high knees to finish the entire workout 